Hello from the American Muscle Car Museum right here in sunny Melbourne, Florida. Today we have one of the Copo cars out from the collection in a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette. This would have been the last year of the C2s, which were for 1963 to 1967, also known as the mid-years. 1967 probably was the cleanest year of the mid-year cars, in my opinion. They cleaned up the emblems on the side fenders. The air extraction slots behind the front tires went from a three slot to a five slot, much cleaner look. And of course, the introduction of the Stinger hood, new for 1967. As we come to the wheels and tires, this was the first year that they had to use bolt-on knockoffs for a federal mandate they could not use the actual knockoffs. To finish off the exterior of the car, as you can see, this comes into a side exhaust unique to the Corvettes and really gave it a nice driving experience as it was right next to the driver and passenger's ears. For the interior, this is done in a saddle leather. This year had the newly designed seats and the headrests. Also gone was the grab bar or the grab handle just above the glove box. Three spoke wooden steering wheel, gauge is very easy to read. Also for this year, the emergency brake was relocated from under the dash to into the console. The power plants for these cars would be from a base 327, 300 horse, a 350 horse 327, or there was four options of 427s available. Our particular car is the L68 400 horse tri-power. They also offered an L71, which is the higher horse tri-power, along with an L88 and an aluminum head L89. For the transmission on these cars, the base transmission was a manual three-speed. There was three different four-speed manuals available. Our particular car has the automatic option, which is a Powerglide two-speed. These would go into a positive traction, which was an option, into an independent rear suspension. These cars are near and dear to my heart. Growing up in a Corvette restoration shop, we got to do many repairs and frame off restorations on C2s and C3 Corvettes. And this was done at Automotion Incorporated in Emerald, Nebraska. We had this car out for annual maintenance. All the cars are kept in running and driving condition. This car was given a clean bill of health. It's been a pleasure sharing this car with you. This is a gorgeous 1967 Corvette. For more information on this car and all the other cars in the collection, please visit our website, our Facebook page, or our YouTube channel. Once again, thank you for watching.